Hi, this is Roger. This is going to be fun. Somebody asked me how I do my videos and how I can do so many without using up all my day. So I thought, just for demonstration purposes, I'd have a go at filming, setting one up. Now, this is an incredibly short clip for obvious reasons. It doesn't need to be long. And it is specific to my software, but I'm sure other people have got similar software. So, first thing I tend to do is have folders with stuff in. Um, this is where I keep all my bits and pieces for my video clips. Now, I have got a quirk with the camera at the moment, which I, I'm a, it's a bit annoying, but one day I'll look at the menus and actually try and work out how to change it, but it's in the camera somewhere. Um, these are the last clips, and they're all numbered in sequence. Unfortunately, the cam camera always starts at zero. So to make things work properly, I just need to change that to one bigger than the last one, which was 27. So if we make this one 28, so just rename the clip and then put the clip in there and it will be ready to load when, uh, when I need it. So we load up the software, which is PowerDirector 14. It's something I had to buy, but I got a hell of a good deal with this and the photo director and some other bits and pieces all at the same time. I was happy to do that. Now, as you remember, I said I've done a startup project, so I just need to open that project. There it is, project start. Open that up, and that will pull in my basic empty project. And um, you can see it's got my startup bits there and my end up, you know, my ending up bits. If I just click play now, you'll. Yeah, that's my startup sequence. Yeah. So first thing we need to do is edit the heading. So we just go into select the clip, go into modify and try and type sideways on. I always keep my dates up to date so that I know when the video was produced. So today's date. And um, a suitable heading. Whoops. And I like to have things reasonably tidy, so I usually try and line up the headings so that they all sort of fit. That'll do. It's only a demo. Yeah, save that away. And that is basically the video. The end clip is there ready to go. Yeah, so the two basic clips are there. Um, all I've then got to do is go and get the bit that I actually want to produce. So we import media files. If I've got lots, I stick them in a folder and import the folder. And somewhere in there should be number 28 that we renamed a while ago. So we go and get that. Bring that in, and then basically I just drag that clip and line it up with the end of my heading like that yeah and then these two are grouped together so that if I move them they both move together I can just slide that along and line the end of the clip up with the start of my end titles on this particular clip if I wanted to do a pop-up pop -up, I just go into where the pop-ups are under the titles page drag that down to where I want it yeah and then just modify it and change the words actually let's uh what the hell is this thing called I um, no, that don't look right. I'll just leave it as Cordigera because I can't remember the clone name, but you, 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 you see the point, that's what I'm getting at. And then just save that away, that pop-up's then in place. I can shorten that or lengthen it, depending how long I want that pop-up to stay there. 
and the other thing I'd like to demo is on that clip you can see the backlighting is quite bad um, I, I get this problem when I'm filming in the kitchen doing repots and stuff like that if I go into that particular setting and I can just click on extreme backlight and it does that to it yeah so that basically is the movie done I can now play the whole thing Thanks for dropping by. This is merely a demonstration video, so I'm keeping it specifically short. This sun in Cyclia Cordigera is opening. It's not fully open, but uh, I'm hoping that the backlighting is also part of the demonstration. Cheers. Thanks for dropping by. that basically is it. The only thing I've got to do now is because this project is called Startup and I don't want to lose it, I've just got to save the project as, yeah, and give it a new name, which is, um, oh, whatever. Yeah, save that away. And it combines the whole thing together under a new name, retaining the original startup project because I don't want to lose that. I reuse that over and over again. And then basically, that is it. All I've got to do is go into Produce, this does the rendering for me, and click on Start. Okay, and away it goes. Um, I won't bother filming that because obviously that's just a little scroll bar going across. I'll come back at the end. Okay, that's the rendering finished. Um, the rendering process takes the same amount of time as the length of the clip. So the clip's just over 40 seconds long, so the rendering took just around 40 seconds. That's the software finished with. And now we need to just go and find the video. The software always calls it Produce. So uh, obviously I don't want all my videos with the same name, so we'll just rename that. Okay, that's that done. And then I keep all my stuff together. My final productions live in there. I'm a firm believer in um, using pathways and actually updating pathways in software so that everything, each piece of software knows where to go and look, yeah? Um, if I need my pictures um, of any of the orchids that have bloomed for me, they're all in a folder together. So, you know, they're, they're just all there, ready to go, and my software knows where to go and find them. So keep it simple, as I always say. And then basically all that's left to do is get into YouTube and then you go into Upload. Now this bit everybody does the same, I'm sure, because to get it onto YouTube, I'm not going to actually upload this one um, yet because I've got another one I want to do in front. But then YouTube knows where to go and look. Yeah, These are all my final production videos and there's the one we've just done, how I make my videos. So you just click on that YouTube starts uploading it, you fill in your description, um, put it, you know, whether you want to add it to any of your playlists, all the normal sort of thing that YouTube does. I don't need to show you that. So that's it, basically. That, that's how I make a video, and I'll post that video a bit later on. Um, but um, I don't want to do it now. As I said, I've got another one in the pipeline that I did earlier this morning that I'd prefer to get on YouTube first. So I'll do this one a bit later. So there you go. Short and sweet. How, how I make a video and um, hope you enjoyed it. I know it's software specific, but other bits of software do similar things, I'm sure. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for dropping by. <music>